Hello everybody. So let us have the solution to this lecture of exercise 6.3 onwards question number 2 to question number 7 as I earlier discussed with you during my morning class. So you can go through this lecture to have a solution of all these questions here. So if you see your question number 2 in your textbook, figure is given in which your STL ODC is given similar to AOB. So you please write down the information accordingly. And then this angle 125 degree BOC and angle OTC is given equal to 70 degree. On behalf of this information, you need to calculate angle DOC, angle DCO, angle OAB. So that is your choice as angle DOC, you can mark that angle 1, angle DOC, DCO, you can mark that angle 2, OAB, you can mark that angle 3. So option if you have available is this triangle is similar to this triangle. I don't think any difficulty will be finding. As you can see here, you did it last time. This plus this is a linear pair. So 180 minus 125, you will be getting this is 55. Then again it is 125. Here it is 125. So if you uh, subtract by uh, 180, that is your triangle angle sum property. So again you will be there in angle 2. So now the triangles are similar, so you can uh, take these angles uh, respectively equal to each other to write the answer. I hope all of you can do that comfortably as ODC is similar to OBA. Once you have uh, done this, angle O and angle C, you can compare with this angle O that is also vertically opposite angle and this angle definitely you can compare with this angle or this angle as per the condition given to you that is OBC is similar to triangle OBA. So based upon your class 9, triangle angle sum property, linear pair axiom to get us three angles of one triangle and that triangle is similar to the other so you can compare by angle angle criteria to write the answer of these three parts. I hope all of you can comfortably do that. Then come to this question number 3. Here Everything will be simply given to you where your AB is given parallel to CD and you need to prove their diagonals are in proportion. See right onwards exercise 1. We are doing this question. It was the part of your uh, exercise 6.2 also where in question number 9 and 10 we have proved. So here now by triangle uh, criterion in similar how we can prove this? So you draw these two triangles, that is your AOB and COD. Separately, I have drawn this triangle and this triangle here. So you can see that if you see angle 1, this is angle 1, this is angle 3, I have marked angle 2 and angle 4. So AOB is similar to triangle COA by angle angle criterion. How it goes? Because angle 1 is equal to angle 2, angle 3 is equal to angle 4 as these are the alternate angles so once the two angles are equal third automatically will be equal so these two triangles are similar to each other so AOB is similar to triangle COD by angle 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 or you can go for SAS criterion also that is your choice as you know this is a particular opposite angle then the corresponding sides will always be in proportion as you can say that OA upon OC will be equal to what OB upon OD which you need to prove. So that I have proved here. Then in question number 4, uh, it is given that QR upon QS. So this is the figure given to you. First of all, QR upon QS is given equal to QD upon PR. This is QD here and this is PR here. And on behalf of this, Information remaining angle 1 and angle 2 are also given equal. You need to prove this triangle PQS is similar to triangle TQR. So I have drawn these two triangles separately for your understanding. Uh, then given information, here it is. QR upon QS is given equal to QT upon PR. But PR is there. As you can see, your angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So in triangle PQR, in triangle PQR, if angle 1, that is the base angles are equal, so I can say that PQ is equal to PR. If PQ is equal to PR, so here you said QR upon QS is equal to Q2 upon QT upon PR. 
PR. So when PR is equal to PS, PR is equal to PQ, so I can replace this PR by PQ. That I did here. Now if I compare these two triangles, I am getting QR upon QS. It was there. This is equal to QP upon PQ. So I replaced PR by PQ by using this angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So then I will be getting QR upon QS is equal to QP upon PQ and this included angle Q between these two proportional ratios is common. So I can write that information to prove these two triangles similar to each other. So in that way you can prove the question number 4 and then question number 5 is very simple. Uh, you need to draw the diagram that is only the difference here. As a D are coils on sides PR and PQ of triangle PQR. So first of all you can draw any triangle PQR and then as a D you have to mark at PR and QR. I marked here and then it is given that uh, angle P is equal to angle RTS. So here it is angle P. Join this. So angle RTS. TS you need to join. RTS and P are given. And you need to prove this big triangle RPQ is similar to this small triangle that is RTS. So as it is clear from there in one vortex R you are finding common that is in RTS also and in RPQ also. So angle R is equal to angle R is common and this is given to you. Angle RTS is given equal to RPQ. So then you write these two information in your group and the triangles will be similar to each other by angle angle criterion. So that is the solution for your question number 5. Then in question number 6. In question number 6, this is the figure given to you in your textbook if you see. And uh, in this, the triangle ABE is given to equivalent to triangle ACD. And then you need to prove this small triangle ABE is similar to this big triangle ABC. So what I did here, whatever the two triangles are given congruent to you, I just drawn those triangles separately here, that is ABE and your ACD. These two triangles are congruent to each other. So accordingly, I have arranged that AD will be equal to AE, your AB will be equal to AC, AB will be equal to AC because these are equal to each other by CPCTC. You can mention there C P C Congruent part of the congruent triangles are always congruent. So that means if AD is equal to AE, so I can write that AD upon A is equal to 1. Similarly, if AB is equal to AC, so I can say that AB upon AC is also equal to 1. Now you see here AD upon AE that is equal to 1. So AB upon AC is also equal to 1. I can compare the two, so therefore I can write AD upon A is equal to AB upon AC. So by alternate, now if this upon this is equal to this upon this, but I need to compare these two, AD with AB and AE with AC. So that's why I went for this property, that is by alternate. Yesterday also in my video lecture I made you understand Alternate means if this upon this is equal to this upon this. So as per your convenience, you can use that this upon this will also be equal to this upon this. That property is known as alternate. So this upon this, I have written here AD upon AB is equal to AB upon AC. So now in these two triangles AD and ABC, you can see angle A is equal to angle A. That is the common angle here you can see of angle AD as well as of ABC. And then you are getting AD upon whole of AB is equal to AB upon whole of AC. So then your triangle ABE definitely will be similar to triangle ABC by your SAS criterion which you need to prove there. So that is the solution for your question number 6. Then you go to this question number 7. Again a very uh, simple problem given over there, figure is given and you are asked to prove a pair of triangles in four different parts to prove similar with respect to each other. So whatever is given, you write the information as I am writing in all these solutions. And uh, here is given that triangle uh, D is 90 degree, E is 90 degree in the first part. You 
agreed to prove this small triangle AEP is similar to triangle CDP. So here you can see one pair of vertically opposite angles are bending over there, one is equal to two, and then E and D you can see by linear pair, this also will be of 90, D already is of 90. So I can write the two triangles are similar by angle angle criteria. Similarly, in second part you need to prove triangle ABD, which is a part of this club figure here. So what I did, I've drawn that ABD, but I need to prove similar uh, separately somewhere here and CB also, CBE. And when you will compare these two, again you are finding a pair of D and D are 90 degrees each. And if you read the triangle A, B, uh, D, so this is the B here. And when you will be reading this E, B, C or angle B again is common. So B is equal to B common, D is equal to E 90 degree. And then again the pair of these two triangles you can do similar. The same strategy you can apply in the rest of the two parts, draw the figure separately and find that those two again will be similar to each other by the same criterion that is your angle angle criterion. So I have explained uh, now up to question number 7 onwards question 8 to question 16. Tomorrow I will come through the video lecture again to you and uh, definitely live class will be there. So I will be sharing the difficulties if any left. Uh, over here through this discussion so kindly go through the lecture uh, and let me know your difficulties thank you have a nice time